What do you think of this Tyson Fury fight and Schwartz? Most of us, I don't know, probably you two haven't heard of Schwartz. I've never heard him. of Schwartz. <laughs> um, but a lot, of us, a lot of people never heard about Andy. So I'm trying to say, so anything can happen in a boxing game. But I felt like um, Tyson is on a good run right now. You know what I mean? I came to support him and then the top ranked card. So I think, I think Fury gonna do what he usually do. I think he's gonna outbox him. He's gonna be slick with it. He's gonna have some fun. It looked like he was saying one round to him or something. I don't know if that's yeah, for yeah, sure yeah. what he was saying. Yeah, I kind of got her late, man. Oh, was, but man. you think? I mean, Tyson's not known for being that type of nah, puncher. I don't think you it's think gonna. Be, to I, on a, I don't think it's gonna be. A, I don't think it's gonna be a one round fight. I think it's gonna be a couple rounds. I'm actually. I seen a guy. I think I seen one of his fights. I think it'll be a later fight. I think it'll be between eight or ten rounds. I think Tyson Tyson might get him. Tyson wears guys out. Um, then a jab, right hands, laying on him. You know. And what about um, yourself? When are, can you fight now, or when can you return to the? No, uh, I know everybody's talking about these stipulations about me fighting other countries. Yes, you can go around doing crazy things like that, but we're not going to do that. We're going to honor the decision of the New York New York um, Boxing Athletic Commission. We're going to honor the ruling of the WBA. We're going to take our six months. We're going to regroup. We're going to come up with a, an amazing game plan. Find out what promoter is best for me and what my circumstances are and how we're going to rebuild from there. Like I said, I'm not I'm not that far removed. Believe that. I'm, I'm right. So here. you'll fight this year then, probably. Yeah, yeah. We'll fight at least two times this year, man. That's the goal, man. Because um, if Fury wins, he's supposed to be coming back in the fall too. Yeah, but I can tell you right now, Tyson Tyson's gonna fight Deontay real soon, and um, I don't know they're gonna have a rematch and that whole nine. So I'm not fighting Tyson no time soon. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think the main thing is trying to get back at it at whoever wins the AJ. Andy fight. So you want to go straight, straight to the killing? Yeah, straight to the killing, man. I mean, I'll take a fight to keep myself busy, but then once that's over with, I want, I want one of their heads on the, well, I don't want Andy's head. I'm like, I want, if my boy got the belt, I'd love to fight my boy, but if AJ have the belt, I want his head next. What happens in that rematch, Joshua versus Chris? Obviously, hmm. a lot of people are speculating that's more than likely going to be in the UK. Yeah, if it's in the UK, I, I expect AJ to look a lot stronger. You know what I mean? Look at Dylan White's interviews he's done. I think he knocked it on the head with that. Um, but I feel like he fights in America. I think he'll kind of be like the same thing that happened again in MSG. Was it just that, what he was saying, where he didn't have his little help? Or do you think it might have been well, the moment caught you, up to him? The crazy part is, I've been saying this forever. It has happened that my circumstances kind of came out like, oh, Big Baby Miller. Ah. But like, you do, like I said before, the information came out the wrong way to the media, and the fans took it the wrong way. And I, I like, man, I'm not saying nothing right now. I'm just pissed off right now. I'm going to deal with right. it my way. So when it was time for me to come out and start giving information out, people were like, holy shit, like, yeah, there's medical proof of this crap. Like, I'm not lying about it. You know what I mean? So people were starting to finally understand and kind of see what, what happened. And like I said before, I give two shits. I'm a real person. Like, I'm a man up. If I did something wrong, yo, big baby, I took it like, I'm going to take it like a man, man, I'm going to deal with it. I'm not going to hide about it and say that, hey, beef. But you know, AJ so. saying he wants to go back to MSG. That's kind of contradicting the, you know what well, I mean? Well, let's see, because, you understand? Know or that just talk? AJ and Eddie always say different things all the time. Watch all people's interviews. Yeah. They always go back and forth and contradict each other. He might say he want to fight in New York, but Eddie like, nah, we know we're not going back to New York. But him as a fighter can't make himself look so. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So yeah. he goes, yeah, I'm going back to New York. He know he's not coming back to New York right now. I don't see it. So if it was Ruiz and Big Baby, the two Latinos fighting for the heavyweight title, how, <laughs> how, how, how would that go down if he said Listen, Andy's my boy. He's a warrior. He'll tell the same thing. He's going to beat me. I'm his name. I'm going to beat Andy. And that's out of respect and love. Two brothers going to go at it. If I win, I give him the rematch. He win, I get the rematch. You're like, you're like, like real men, you know what I mean? But Andy's a warrior, man. So I wish him nothing but luck. And the president of um, Belize would be calling you up to oh, come. Listen, listen, <laughs> I, listen, man. I'm, I'm pretty big in my country right now. That's you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so they're probably a prime minister, uh, Honorable Dean Barrow. So, you know, he called me after the fight. I got canceled. And he said, man, just keep your head up. The country's behind you. Deal with it like a real man, like a soldier. And then come back. That's it. Now, uh, next week, we got one of your stable mates, Chris Colbert, fighting here in Las Vegas. A lot of people uh, may not be too familiar with him. What are your thoughts on not just him, but uh, his, his fight and what he he has coming up for? Man, Lil B Hop is on a rampage right now, man. The kid is the truth. He works hard, talks a whole He's like the mini me of me. He talks a whole lot of shit, but believe me, when, when that bell ring, he come to, to scrap. Very uh, intelligent and bright when it comes uh -huh. to, the, to the game. Mm -hmm. of boxing. boxing, correct. Like when it comes to a lot of these young fighters, for one, they don't know how to talk, or two, they're not knowledgeable, or mm -hmm. both. And he's able to do both. What do you think? What do you think that's that's credited credited to? 
Um, I think being around fighters like myself, he's always been around top fighters in his amateur career, and just kind of seeing where he wants to go. And he's very, as 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 rebuntious as, as B Hop is, he's very home based. You know, he stay closest to our coach Osa. He's very family orientated. You know, he doesn't really hang out and partying. You know, he's kind of like in the gym all the time. And he's loud, but he's great about his craft, and I think that's what makes him a great fighter. Big, big baby, what do you think about Fury versus Wilder? Obviously, they're setting it up for next year, early mm. next year. What do you think about the fight? Early? Um, it's still 50-50 in my book. Again, I told everybody. It kind, I told everybody it kind of favored Deontay because he got the belt and he has power. But Tyson came out and showed that great boxing skills overcome all. And I think if Tyson can keep his stamina up and constantly move between rounds, he wins the fight. But if he gets clipped again, you know, it could be Deontay. In your opinion, did Anthony Joshua quit versus Grace or he quit? The boy quit. Why do you say that? <laughs> he didn't move in the corner. He's in the corner, hands in the ropes. Even if you're wobbly, you're hurt, you come forward. But you're do, a little hurt. Do you really believe that he he ever recovered? Because no, he I don't think he recovered. Hurt. Because I don't think he I'm gonna tell you, I thought the fight should have been stopped at the end of the third. The yeah. ref told him numerous times, walk yeah, no, to no, me, listen. walk to the me, ref, the walk ref, to the me. Ref, he never the did The ref that. gave him help, and he couldn't recover. That is, that's it. Game over. So if he couldn't recover, is that really quitting though? Well, I understand this too. He got, he got a whole other round to come back. He didn't recover that round, but he had a whole round to come back. He had a break in between it. Right. I'm not making excuses for him. Right, right. That's boxing. If you're hurt, soon the bell ring, I say, I come out, I take a knee. I take my eight second break. Okay, it's a 10 8 round. But fine, I got I got time to recuperate again. If I'm still hurt, take another knee. 7 10 round. The next one I jump in is that move is that. It's a, it's a boxing game. So I'm trying to say, right. but a lot of guys can't relax in a pocket through a combination. That's what makes Andy a great fighter. Lastly, uh, I mean, you've owned up. What's happening as a man? Yeah. Give us a message to the fans that are watching, that are listening right now. Uh, everybody yeah. who still does this, just a quick message. Listen, man, we're all human beings. We all make mistakes. The question is doing your homework, coming back from it, from adversity, and doing it the right way, and showing the fans and people what kind of person you are. Listen, I ain't perfect. You ain't perfect. None of us is Jesus. But listen, how we do is how we come back.